I was in the Mid-America Motel in Salina, Kansas, and uh, I, uh, I took some LSD that turned out to be uh, considerably more than I thought I was taking, so much that I thought I was going to die. So I started to run out of the hotel room to call for help. I was naked, and um, I got to the door, and I imagined what would happen next when I went outside that door, that the naked old man in room 125 is crazy, and it's Thorazine and all that, and I decided there must be easier ways to die than that, so I decided to stay in the room. I sat down in front of the television set, which I had on, but the volume off, and I had a picture of my guru in the center of it, so that it was all coming out of his head. And I said to him, please let me die. die. I think I'm ready to die, and I decided they'd find me the next day, and it would be interesting. I mean, they just find this guy, and I had all these questions I would ask of the universe written all over the room, so that my mind would fall on a question. And uh, I thought, that it's an interesting way to go. It's like crap's last tape, but it's no. So um, I kept asking to die, and I watched that my mind kept slowing down and slowing down and slowing down and slowing down until pretty soon I saw each thought arise, exist, and pass away. The next thought arise, exist, pass away. And then I saw there was a space between each thought. It was getting bigger and bigger as my mind penetrated more deeply. And then I went into the space between two thoughts and there was a break in consciousness and I wasn't. And then the next moment I thought, well in that case I can be anything I want. And I and came, I came back. back. And then I started to recreate the universe after that. started to see the entire universe out here and all the suffering in the world and it was like a vast ocean of suffering and it was like they were all my children all of it all of it and I started to reach out for it and I started to gag it was like I was uh, retching it was like, oh, oh. and it was it was like I couldn't handle absorbing it all into myself and yet I knew that's what I was doing was taking everything into myself and I, and came, I came back, back. And then I started to recreate the universe after that. And I came back from that. And then I started to recreate the universe after that. And then I came And then I went into the space between two thoughts. And then the next moment I thought. Well, in that case, I can be anything I want. And I came back from that. And then I started to recreate the universe after that.
they were all my children, all of them. All of them. It was like I couldn't handle absorbing it all into myself, and yet I knew that's what I was doing, is taking everything into myself. And I started to reach out for it. Well, in that case, I can be anything I want. It was like I couldn't handle absorbing it all into myself, and yet I knew that's what I was doing, is taking everything into myself. And then I went into the space between two thoughts. And then the next moment, I thought, well, in that case, I can be anything I want. <laughs>